While on vacation in Mexico, Trista Sutter, the Bachelorette star, is clearing the air on her well-being. Hello everyone and welcome to my Bachelor official YouTube channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribers button and give this video a thumbs up. On Saturday, Trista took to Instagram and captioned a picture of her family at the beach with a long explanation. After her husband, Ryan Sutter, initially posted a black and white photo of him and Trista with the caption, she's not with the family, the Bachelor Nation alumnus offered her side of the story. Soon after, Ryan updated his post to say that everything is fine between him and his wife. He also mentioned that she is searching a bit and that an opportunity presented itself that may help her on that quest. However, everyone was speculating about Trista's side of the tale and wondering when she would reveal it due to the cryptic messages. And she has now. People, get over it. Why can't a girl here have a nervous breakdown, trial separation, midlife crisis, death, or divorce in peace? She captioned the photo. To be clear for everyone who may be wondering, I'm grateful, happy, healthy, in love, and safe. Good luck to those who would rather concentrate on being critical and look far too hard for gloom. With the unwavering support of my family and friends, I seize the chance for perspective and personal development, confident that my kids' end of school needs and my job as a stay-at-home parent were in the best possible hands. After finishing second in season one of The Bachelor, Trista, the first bachelorette, explained that her stoke husband, who usually chooses privacy over posting, decided to share his love for me in messages that would find me in my travels. According to her, they use Instagram as a digital diary. She went on to say that although most of the time people ignore what they post, she admits that Ryan's post attracted attention this time. Although Trista found Ryan's first post to be cryptic, she claimed that his remarks provided her with the exact words of affirmation she needed. And that's all that counts, the woman remarked. If you want to know the rest of the story, I will share in due time, she said. For the time being, we're returning to our regularly scheduled programming from a Mexican beach. After all, much needed rest and relaxation are required during nervous After breakdowns and But separation. enigmatic absence, Ali Fedotowski has returned to the internet. Hey everyone, it's me again. I've taken a brief break from social media. I'm glad to have returned. Fidotowski, 39, stated in an Instagram video posted on Saturday, May 25, I can't wait to share what I just did. I feel so many different things about it. Crazy feelings are present. I honestly don't feel like myself right now mentally because of it, she said. I swear, I will share as soon as I am able. I simply can't at this time. The former bachelorette continued, saying that she is eager to share everything when she can and that it is good to interact with her fans once more. Since May 16, Fidotowski, who resides in Nashville with her spouse Kevin Mano and their two children, has not been home. Leaving with a farewell from these two. A screenshot of a FaceTime conversation between her and her 40-year-old son Riley was posted to Instagram earlier this month. And, now I'm a blubbering mess, the woman added. This will be the longest I've ever gone without speaking to my family, and I won't have my phone for a while. Fidotowski, who along with her husband has a seven-year-old daughter named Molly, included a special message for Mano. I appreciate your support and fortitude in this at Kevin Mano, she said in closing. While I'm away, don't get too used to the house being so tidy. Before you know it, I'll be back to screw things up I adore you. Although Fedotowski hasn't disclosed her activities away from home, a number of fans surmised in her comment sections that she was away producing a reality program similar to Special Forces, World's Toughest Test. Prior to Trista Sutter's recent absence from home, Ashley Akinetti, a fellow member of Bachelor Nation, 
Kaza and the theory and conjectured that Sutter was working on a related project. Akinetti, 36, stated on her almost famous podcast earlier this month, she's away for two weeks. It appears that Ali Fedotowski, who also has a post quite similar to this one, is away for two weeks. Is she filming a program? Then is she a member of the SF? Since I informed her that she would be ideal for special forces. In his Mother's Day tribute, Trista's spouse, Ryan Sutter, raised questions over her whereabouts by mentioning how much he missed her. Since then, he has verified that she is okay. Trista is doing well. We're doing great. We're excellent. On May 18, Ryan, 49, said, Trista is at a point in her life when she is searching a little bit. An opportunity that might aid her in that endeavor came up. She has accepted it with the help of her family. She is momentarily unavailable to us due Maria to that Jorgis process. Maria recorded her Divot podcast, and what she shared has a lot of talking. Regarding how she became the antagonist on Joey Graziade's season of The Bachelor, she has a hypothesis. Sydney Gordon, Ashley Akinetti, and Nick Vile are all parties to her conspiracy idea. She believes that they were all involved in her Bachelor edit. How did Ashley react to what Maria said? Continue reading to learn more. Ashley Iaconetti explicates Nick Vile's role in this. During her appearance on the Call Her Daddy podcast, Maria Jorgis revealed fresh information regarding her time on The Bachelor, including a conspiracy theory linking Nick Vile and Ashley Iaconetti to her villainous reputation. Fans are aware that the main characters in all of the turmoil throughout Joey's season were Sidney Gordon and Maria Jorgis. Everything began with Medina Alam's remarks about being the eldest woman in the home and Maria's reply. Despite Maria's apology for her remarks, Sidney persisted in her belief that she was using abusive language. All of this finally resulted in a one-on-one -on -one date when Sidney was sent home. Ben Higgins and Ashley Akinetti discuss their opinions on Maria's allegations that Sydney might have been set up on the show to harm her reputation on the Almost Famous podcast. Ashley stated, She believes there is a conspiracy that me and Nick Vile met Sydney Gordon, and that when we brought Sydney into production, we said, Hey, this is our friend Sydney. She would be excellent at eliminating this season's antagonist, or something like that. That was untrue. Prior to Joey's season airing, Ashley claimed she was unaware of Maria's identity. She added that a 2022 photo of her, Nick, and Sydney together is where the assumption originated. Nick had never spoken to Sydney before. That was their first encounter. He has absolutely no relationship with Sydney, the woman remarked. The fact that Nick Vile had known Maria Jorgas since around 2017 was also mentioned. He even previously predicted that she would play the villain if she ever appeared on the show. Ashley continued, so in her scheme, he wanted to make sure she was the bad guy and then brought in Sydney, this girl, so the producers could ruin her. It's not even close to being an accurate theory. Sydney is unknown to Nick. In fact, Nick called me to discuss Sydney's real-life personality because he felt that she was utterly ludicrous on the show. Ashley claims to be a superb dramatist, yet she was not involved with this. She agreed with Ven that the producers are the ones who get paid a lot of money to create all the drama. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't miss any updates.